Joining the show tonight, this man nailed a 40-yard field goal as time expired Saturday to give the Falcons a big-time W at home, the fourth-down quarterback at Friends University, Cole Thompson. What's up, dude? How are you? I'm good, brother. Better that we have you on the show now. Fourth-down quarterback is a title that uh, you have to earn. You certainly did that this weekend. Talk to me about it, man. That had to be an awesome moment. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. It was. It was a... Um... It was a complete dogfight all game, so it was. It was super thrilling to get away with that win, especially the streak that we've had against that team mm -hmm. over the years and then the heartbreaker that last year's game was. So, yeah, definitely a very exciting win. Does your leg feel any different after that win? Do you feel like you could conquer the world now? Did you wake up feeling a little lighter on Sunday? I mean <laughs> – yeah, I was I was definitely walking pretty tall for sure. <laughs> That's I love it. Yeah, I had some good posture walking around that night, and then on Sunday, yeah. But um, no, it's business as usual now. It's on to Tabor this week. So, hey, good answer, good answer. We'll talk about Tabor later on, dude. But we're gonna we're obviously gonna focus on uh, on the kick in this weekend as far as this conversation goes. Let's talk about that game winner leading up to that. You're one for two on the day. The one had gotten blocked just prior. And so maybe not a perfect headspace to be heading into this one. Um, some things are just outside of your control as a kicker, and, and that's just not a great situation. Where was your head at when you went out to uh, attempt this kick right at the end of the game, man? So, yeah, that was um, that was a really unfortunate situation because it was, like, game-wise, pretty much the same situation. It would have been a huge field goal to put us up. And so it was, yeah, it was definitely a heartbreaker to have that first one blocked. But I've got – a ton of faith in our snapper and holder because they're just, I mean, they're both so dedicated to getting that operation as good as it can be. So we were on the sideline, you know, working it after that, trying to figure out exactly what happened and just getting reps. So I felt good going into the kick. I mean, I knew that that, that group of guys was going to get the job done. Hell yeah. I like that, dude. And so when you actually go through with the kick, I mean, did you know right off the foot? Because as soon as this kick goes off and gets off your foot, you turn around immediately. We get kind of a Jordan shrug toward the sideline, and the boys are going nuts. But, I mean, you looked at the ball for maybe half a second and knew that thing was through the uprights, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, it felt great. <laughs> I, I felt it off the foot. And pretty much, like, once I saw it go through the line without hitting a hand or anything, I, I knew it was probably going to be good. Dude, that is so awesome. I mean, that's just <laughs> confidence that uh, you have built up from doing this just time and time again, I assume. You know, immediately off the foot, and again, like you said, as soon as it gets clean through the line, you know the type of feel that you've got. You know, that, okay, that thing's probably pretty good. I've done this enough times. Yes, sir, yeah. Dude, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that's, that's so sweet. That was immediately what stood out to me watching, like, the kick back here um, was, like, dude, immediately, like, right after it comes off your foot, you turn around just to the sideline. I thought that was so – that was so cool. And that was the first win over Kansas Wesleyan for you guys in 10 years, the first time this team has been 4-0 since 2008. So many firsts for this Falcon squad. What is the energy like in that building? And more importantly, what is the ceiling for this team over there for the Falcons right now? We're fired up, and um, I mean, energy-wise, coming off of last year, too, going into this season, we were fired up. We knew that we had a great squad and that we're bringing back a great squad. So, um, I mean, ceiling-wise, there is none. We're planning on – nobody's planning on on going home for Thanksgiving. We're planning on a long season. Hell, yeah. So, yeah, we're all, we're all super fired up about the rest of the season for sure. I love that. That's the mindset you got to have, guys that are that are bought into that. And and speaking of being bought into the style of offense that you guys play, and this one, only 22 passes attempted on both sides of the ball. That's nothing new for you guys. There actually was a game last year where there were no passes attempted that I know we put out a graphic for that was just, to some people outside of that organization, maybe ridiculous, but to the guys over there in that building, uh, just, just another Saturday. But this one, 22 passes attempted from both sides, gritty win that feels like exactly the kind of game that you guys want to be in. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's our brand of football. We just beat teams down, beat their will out of them, and then second half is really where it, it yeah. starts to pile on. But, um, yeah, I feel like Kansas Wesleyan, it was just – it was a completely different – like it was a different animal. It was – the weather was a factor, and then – it was a dogfight the whole game, which we hadn't seen this year yet, but mm -hmm. we came out, I mean, we kept the same intensity. Of course, I mean, the first half we did struggle with, you know, some ball security stuff and a few turnovers, but 
intensity wise, I mean, everybody was locked in. It, it mattered more to us for sure. Yeah, and that's not just on the offensive side of the ball. You guys are just uh, absolute batting, battering rams, excuse me. Seven different guys on defense go back and register TFLs in that one. And you talked about it. It was back and forth, back and forth. It felt like the defense, a lot of times along the way, needed to step up big when their name was called. What did you think about that side of the ball and their performance on Saturday? Defense was so awesome. Yeah, we had um, – there was a couple unfortunate punts. I, I also assumed the punting duties. Yep. And um, punting-wise, did not actually have a great game on Saturday. <laughs> Which, which I'll, I'll take on the chin for sure. But the defense bailed me out 100%. They were complete studs out there. They only allowed one touchdown because yeah. there were field goals and then the kickoff return touchdown. So, yeah, defense was just absolute dogs out there. That was a crazy, crazy one by them. Now, your final kick was good from 40. We couldn't tell from the broadcast angle, the angle that I've seen on Twitter, how far back would that have been good from? If I had to guess, I would only say like maybe 48 or 49. Okay. There's a little wind in the face. Yeah. And I, didn't, I wasn't trying to like murder it because that's, I mean, if you overswing, then. I would say that's a real part of the kicking game too, right? And knowing that distance. And yeah, obviously when you get back to that high 40 type 50 yard, like 40 yard field goal is great in itself. But you get back there, eventually it's got to be, I'm going to swing and hit this damn thing as hard as I can. At that range though, there's still a level of precision and accuracy and maybe a little bit of touch to that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a big part of kicking. It's I, I like to relate it to golf a lot. Okay. Like if you try to hit a golf ball as hard as you can. Yeah. No wonder I'm shit at golf. Gonna, yeah, you're, you're not going to square it yeah. up. It'll be a terrible hook or whatever. So it's got to be like a 75, 80% effort, but just smooth, crisp form. So yeah, I wasn't, wasn't trying to absolutely kill it, but yeah. No, I like I that, dude. But, I mean, that's a massive win for you guys, and it feels like a lot of teams will get that test. You talk about maybe not expecting that back and forth, back and forth. Every team's going to get that at some point during the season. It took you guys um, to this fourth contest, and the fact that you can take that game, learn a lot out of it, but still get the result that you want. A lot of teams come out of that game with a loss in that column, but you guys remain undefeated is a big part for you guys. Back on the road this week, you mentioned it earlier. What do you know about Tabor, and what do you guys need to do to take care of business this weekend? Um, so yeah, we're not expecting, you know, to just walk over there and get anything easy. We know it's going to be another game and then especially, you know, playing early on the road, will add another factor into that, but we just got to keep playing our brand of football, play another full game. You know, we, it's the, it's the same issues that we've been addressing. We just need to polish up our game and we should come out with a dub. I love it. Cool. Thank you, my man. I really appreciate you. Excited to continue along with this Falcon squad. You guys play a fun brand of football, and it helps when uh, there's a little bit of theatrics at the end of things. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Have a good rest of your night, man. You too. Thank, Thank you. you.